Well, here we go again. eBay's next update, Spring 2022, is out. I know many of us have finally recovered after months of issues with the last update, but we're going to have to worry about it all over again. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about eBay's new, newly announced, just this evening, 2022 update for spring. Many changes. For those of you who remember the last one that just happened October 12th, we lost sales for two weeks over it. And that was only because we were able to figure out what to do after that point. Every single update that eBay has done in categories that we sell in has crushed our sales for a length of time after the update. Now, in my opinion, this whole updating issue with making a catalog and the whole works and item specifics are only, and again, this is my opinion, only out there and only being done so that eBay can figure out how to get more money out of us by using promoted listings and pay-per-clicks. Those are all based, those new ones, on the item specifics that you use. So this is no more, in my opinion, than an opportunity for eBay to gain more money from us from finding new ways to bill us. Again, my opinion. But let's hop over right now and look at what they have in store for us. Now, here is the announcement. You really can't miss it because it wouldn't even allow me to get into eBay until I saw the spring 2022 update. They give you a basic breakdown on here. Now, as I alluded to in the very beginning, if one of these categories that is being updated or changed, you're in chances are you're going to have some very drastic drops or sales issues based on all of the other uh, updates they've done in the last two years. Again, my opinion, but it's based on factually what happened to us as well as thousands of other people that were in the categories that were updated. Now let's start with fees and financing first. They've got on-demand payments they're talking about, additional uh, scheduling, and spendable funds. Spendable funds just means they'll allow you to spend your money on their items without transferring it off of eBay. Now, you can read it yourself. None of this is really anything that I would use or mess with personally. We have it set for a weekly payout, and that's all. We've left it that way forever. No other need to change or do anything else like that for us. This may be some options that help you, but I'm sure there's going to be some stipulations and some rules if you're new to selling on eBay. Chances are it's not going to be available to everybody right off the bat. They do have some holding periods, from what I understand, that uh, I've been told about by many new sellers who've reached out to me. So again, you can read through this. You can look at it and decide for yourself if any of that's going to do you anything or not. For us, again, and for most bigger uh, eBay stores, chances are it's not going to mean a single thing in difference at all. Now, running your business, now they've got some other things here. Some of this, if they're not going to have a way to turn it off, is going to be detrimental to some people's sales. Um, they're going to actually fix it and add on more ways that they're going to force a buyer to pay before anything goes down. So if you send an offer to someone, they're going to be required to put in the information the way this is stating it before they even look or accept the offer. They're going to have to immediately pay for it. Now, I don't know how that's going to pan out when people actually buy multiple items from me. It's going to be a, a complete nuisance as it has been throughout the time when they started to uh, add such features. Now, we turn them all off, so I pray that they will have an option to turn that option off. I don't make anybody pay. I have a seven-day payment window. I've had it for, geez, like 10 years, and I've never had an issue doing it that way ever. So that's what I personally recommend. I don't care what eBay's best practices are in that. I get more sales. 100% I get more sales by not forcing people to pay immediately. It's always worked that way for us. I'll let people buy a whole bunch of stuff over a, a certain length of time and they can pay all at once so they don't have to worry or are hassled with anything else. The minute you have a basically an, a paywall in front of somebody, they may not even want to mess with it. So that is going to kill some sales. Now, I know people who sell clothing and some other items may not see it that way. It depends on the items that you are selling. I have seen friends of ours who do clothing who have had issues with people just not paying. Different story. As long as eBay makes that option optional, it shouldn't be any ordeal because you can use it if you want and not use it if you don't want to use it. That's the basics on here. Now, some of this isn't due to come out until the following update by what they're posting on here either. 
Again, it's going to be up to you on if any of this is going to be helpful. Now, they're also talking about your view counts eBay has had to admit that the view counts and many other figures that they've been representing, including sales, are not correct. If you follow I know over at eCommerce Bytes, she's had articles about these on many different occasions. Up till now, eBay has been telling you that you have views and things along that line when it's a bot. eBay has openly stated in this that up to 40% of internet traffic may be bots and may not even be views on your items. So if you're noticing drastic drops in views on your items, it's because they're actually correcting them, supposedly. I honestly don't know, in my opinion, whether I can believe any of their numbers anymore based on the fact that they've been pumping these out for a long time. They've been inflating items, again, opinion based on what they have personally said and what I have read. They have been marking things as being sold when they actually haven't, when returns are taking place and things like that. But yet they're still reporting them as gross merchandise volume and many other figures from what I have personally read, as I said. So that's going to be an issue for a lot of people who watch and look at view counts and things like that. I personally never look at my view counts. I couldn't tell you at all when the last time I looked at a view count was. I don't look at watchers either. The only watchers that matter to me are the ones that I'm able to send offers out to. As long as my bottom line, my dollar amount coming in on a daily basis is within line, I could care less how many watchers or people are viewing my items. It doesn't mean it's not going to sell at all. It takes one single person to view your item to purchase it. It doesn't take a whole bunch. It just takes the right person. Now, you can read their explanation on why this will change, but chances are you're going to see a heck of a lot less views on your item. And I would also say if eBay is using view count at all to determine which items they show, if they kill the view count, almost half of them, that could affect how often your items are shown. If you know about the user agreement, eBay doesn't even technically have to show your item at all. So again, you can read it up here. The rolling count, what you'll see on your listings going forward for your views will be your 30-day rolling total. So every 30 days, every day you look, it's only going to show the last 30 days, I guess is the basic gist of it. Now you can go back and look at the last two years of your listing traffic report and look at how many views you have. But that's going to be totally useless because eBay is telling you right in here that 40 percent of those probably don't count anyway so that information won't be good going forward in two more years from now it will be but anything prior to today is going to be totally useless going at it from looking at what they're doing to this now you can go ahead and read it it's talking about non-human traffic and many things along that line now they've got a new listing traffic report if you follow the listings and all that information i don't pay any attention to any of eBay's reports about my listings because most of the time all they tell me to do is put item specifics in or add more photos or promote them. That's all they seem to do on like the quality listing report. So this all falls right in there. I don't pay any attention to this stuff on eBay. I know my own figures and my own numbers and I trust those far better than I would ever trust eBay doing it. Now they've got the new messaging experience, which basically just turns eBay's messaging into a phone app is what it looks like to me. I'm not a big phone person, so for me it's a major turn off what they're doing to it. I'm fine with the way it was before. I don't need to see it instantly pop up or all over the place on my account. It would be nice if they made it with several different options you could use, but I'm sure that's not the case. A lot of you who are big into phones, you may love it that way, but I personally don't. It's not practical or conducive to do this type of business on a PC laptop and have to deal with phone style uh, emails. Everybody's used to the old way. Uh, even on Amazon and places like that, generally it does not look like how eBay is trying to steer it. Most everything I see is them steering it all to look like phones and things like that, the phone apps. Not big for me. It's a major turnoff in all honesty. But Now let's move on to listings and promoting your item. So they're changing categories up again. Uh, now they've got a breakdown, so you can click and go to see new category changes, and you can actually just click an option to look at just the new ones. If you're selling tools or collectible toys, your world's going to be in some pain come in May when this update hits, because if, again, if it's anything like the last two years of updates, every category they move around, the sales take a dive for everybody in those categories. When they did clothing a year or two back and did the item specifics, it crushed tons of people's sales and you can go back and read you can go back even on ebay and read all of the complaints and issues going on you can go back to october 12th 
all the way through the end of last year and see the same exact thing, people struggling to get their views back. Again, they ghost a lot of items. If it's been up for any length of time, they ghost them. I know they probably say they don't do it, but they've openly acknowledged they don't have to show your items for whatever reason they, they deem fit. If it's they don't think it's going to sell, they don't have to show it. And if they're removing a ton of your views because they say they're not legit, they could say that's a reason why they don't have to show your items anymore. In my opinion, this is all based on them pushing promoted listings. All of this hassle, all of this headache, all the investment that eBay has been making into this process, again, my opinion seems to be based on nothing more than figuring out more ways to charge us for services. If all the sales die and the only thing that you think will help you is paying eBay to promote your listings, chances are you're going to feel like you have to do it especially when they wait till sales start to dip to send you out offers and things like that. So I would be very skeptical of this if it was me. I would be concerned about your sales if it was me, if you're in any of the category items they state. Now, they're going to be messing with collectibles and toys. So my guess is they're moving toys around, so that could affect a ton of different toys. Health and beauty aids. If you sell in those areas, again, I would look at the report to make sure it's not going to crush your sales. Home and gardens for sure. The biggest one I would say, the biggest ordeal on here would be the parts and accessories for those who sell them. It goes into some basic depth on this. It gives you the update missing item specifics. That helps you with recommended as well. But for us, I have 7,000 almost recommended item specifics. Whenever I fill some out, I end up just getting more of them. It's been a never ending story with item specifics for the last two years. It wouldn't be so bad if that was the case if sales compensated for it. If I got more sales because I made sure my item specifics were there. But the sales don't change at all. I have to do great lengths of work to get my sales to stay or increase from where they are at. Which means I have to do end and sell similar and run sales and all sorts of other things. It doesn't matter what the price is on anything anymore for a lot of items. It matters how you can get shown to the front because eBay is burying so many listings, especially on folks who have a lot of items. If it's a view count it's based on, which again, eBay won't tell us why, what they show or why something shows at the top of the page. If it's view count and they're crushing the views, as I've said, that could affect how many items of yours are shown to potential buyers. That's really about it. Everything in here, again, is, is not helpful to me personally, and it's just going to be a pain. It's going to cost me sales. Now, the only good part for those who are going to have a bunch of issues dealing with this who sell in those categories is that it's not happening during fourth quarter. Usually the worst ones that they do, the ones that affect the most people, are done in fourth quarter. I also would say that whenever they do them in fourth quarter too, the vast majority of everybody affected is not corporate America or big businesses who are selling on eBay, but rather us, those of us who sell used items, secondhand and things like that. It never seems to affect the big companies. They always have a heads up. They always have stuff that helps them out more, but we don't get those benefits at all. Take it as you will. It's never a good sign anymore these days to see any type of update from eBay because everyone, as I said, for the last two years have crushed people's sales, have killed people's sales, including ourselves on October 12th. Again, that's a date I probably won't forget for many years forward because it's the day that my sales dived off a cliff until October 28th when we were able to figure out something to move forward with it. So please be ready for it. One last recommendation. I know eBay says that the item specifics will be ready at a specific date. Many times when they've said that or we've tried to put them in ahead of time so that we're not caught off guard, they've went ahead and changed them again before the due date, before they needed to be in. So it meant that after I put a whole bunch in, many of them disappeared or had to be replaced or put into a different spot because eBay wasn't done with them. I never, ever recommend putting in item specifics unless it's 100% required and you're on a deadline. Because, again, they keep changing them. We've had some added well after any of the updates, months after them, that have changed for us. Our numbers have gone up in recommended listings this year with no technical update going on. Just be leery. Be careful. Pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention to the dates. The only ones you have to put in are the required. You can take some time to put in the recommended if you want. I do believe, though, even with the recommended at this point, eBay is ghosting your listings if you don't put those in. 
I think it's a penalty for those not following what they demand you to do. They're sending out notices. They used to call us as well saying, hey, you need to put in the recommended item specifics, even though, again, it never increases my sales. In fact, we've run tests when we added the item specifics in, the ones that we had item specifics added in, we're talking 4,000. We got less sales from those than the 4,000 we didn't put them in with. So you take it how you wish. That's my take on this. It's never a good sign anymore at all in my book going forward to see any of eBay's updates. No other company on the globe that I am aware of anywhere does updates so many times a year like eBay does. It's always a headache and it's always a hassle. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.